Okay, we would like to talk about shift registers. So I'm going to create a for loop here. Okay, and we're just going to go tell this for loop that we're going to go run four times. And what we want to do is we want to bring in a value. Uh, we're just going to call it 22. And we're going to bring this value in. And what we would like to do is to, let's just say we're going to multiply the value by the iteration counter. And what we want to do is we would like to pass this value back and use it for the next element, okay? So I can come over here and we can draw it out and what I will get is an array here, okay? We've talked about this part before, but what I'm gonna do is to come the, back here, I'm gonna replace this with shift register, okay? And I'm going to wire to the shift register. So now what's gonna happen is the first element coming in is gonna be 22. I'm gonna have 22 times zero and that's what I'm gonna get passed back. So the next one's gonna be zero. I'm going to create a, an indicator here so that we can look and see what our values are coming out of the, the, the math function here. And when I run this, you can say, see that I got all zeros. Why did I get all zeros? Because my first one is zero, right? Zero times 22 is zero, pass back zero, zero times anything is, is zero, pass back. So I got zeros all the time. Let's replace this guy with an add function. So we're going to replace with the numeric palette. Let's make this guy an add instead of a multiply and execute this again. And you can see that right now I get 22, 23, 25, 28, because again, this is passing the data back. So shift registers allow you to pass data from one iteration of the loop to the other. You can also open this guy and drag him down, okay? And now what I can do is I can see the last iteration, the iteration before that, and the iteration before that, okay? Now the downside of doing this is you have to pre-fill all of them with something. If you don't, the system gets very unhappy with you, okay? So I'm going to drop an indicator here, create an indicator for that one. There's the first one. Let's create an indicator for the second one. There's two, and we'll do one more here. Okay, so now we've created three indicators right here. So we're looking at what those guys are. And now when we execute this, we can see that, that this one is the last one iteration that it happened. This one is the iteration before, and this one is the iteration before that, okay? And you can expand those to as many as you want. And that's shift registers.